Hello, I'm Joshua Farnsworth, and today I'm hoping to solve a wood mystery. My friend gave me a truckload of really thick, heavy boards that he said he thinks came from Africa. So today I'm gonna be hand planing them down to see exactly what we got. So hopefully you can stick around and help me figure out what this exotic wood is. So the story is, is that I have a friend who is in the military and he kept asking me if I wanted some mysterious wood uh, that he had sitting around before he moved and finally he brought it over and the story goes like this, that he uh, at one point in one of his stations around the world, another military person uh, gave him the wood uh, and he didn't know what species it was, but uh, it's very, very heavy, it's about eight quarter, which is about two inches thick. And he said that he thinks it came from Africa. Uh, the, the, the other guy uh, has, was stationed in Africa or something and brought it over with his move. And I don't know, anyways, it's uh, ended up here in Earliesville, Virginia of all places. So I'm really excited to start planing this and see if I can figure out what it is. But I'm not a, I'm not a very, uh, I'm not very expert at uh, wood identification of exotic species. I use more domestic woods found here in the United States. So any of you out there watching this who could help me identify this, I'd be really grateful. And uh, if you're new around here, uh, go ahead and uh, click down there and subscribe to our channel and uh, click the little bell as well and you can be notified whenever I release new videos. So I'm gonna just start getting into this and planing this. I'll be using a little planing stop here on the Moravian workbench. Tighten it in the vise there. And <clears throat> I'm going to be using this number seven jointer plane uh, because it kind of will bring it down and flatten it. I'm not going to flatten the whole board right now, uh, just enough so I don't bore you and so I can get to figure out what this is. Uh, might also use a little uh, number four and a half smoothing plane. So uh, I'll put links to the models of these and the brands in the video below. So let's get started. I've got one that's a little heavier set just in case I, I needed to switch. use a little bit of paraffin wax here on the sole of this plane to make the plane a little bit easier. All right, that's probably where I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna get it perfect. This is kind of hard to hand plane, but it's looking kind of cool. So I'm gonna grab some denatured alcohol real quick. If you wanna see what wood is gonna look like with a finish on it, but you're not ready to put a finish on it, you can use uh, either denatured alcohol or mineral spirits or something like that. If you haven't checked out the Wood Database website, you definitely should. I think it's the best source for identifying wood species. And the creator of the website, Eric Meyer, he uh, a couple years ago came out with a really good book to help woodworkers understand wood and identify wood species. So I'll put a link to the book in the notes below the video here. 
And I told Eric about this video that I'd be making, and he said he'd also like to help me figure out what wood this is. So we'll have his help too. That's really pretty. I'll post some more detailed photos on the accompanying blog posts. I'll share a link below so you can get some really close up macro views of the uh, wood if you're serious and trying to help me figure out what this is. And we'll also, also do some research on the wood database because I honestly don't know what this is. And we'll see if we can figure out what it is so everyone can know. And uh, eventually I'm gonna try to make something really cool out of it because this is really pretty. So thanks for watching Wood and Shop. If you're interested in woodworking with a mix of hand tools and power tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you can find a bunch of free woodworking lessons, workshop tours of amazing woodworkers and our very popular tool buying guides. Make sure you subscribe to my free newsletter and check out my 10 steps for getting started in woodworking. Enjoy.